Gospel Ministries International, a place of unrestricted praise and worship. Come join us as we enter into the gates of Thanksgiving. Don't just take over there unless it's a buffet. Even at a buffet, you have what you call a waiting waitress, right? Right. Someone there to serve you, right? Someone there to serve you, right? Someone there to serve you, right? We all want ministers there. Someone there to serve you, right? Someone there to serve you, right? Tell you this, neighbor. When I come to you at the house of God, and you are a minister, you should be there before me. That's why I'm here now. Because you want to be used. God called me. Yeah, he did call me. But he has to process you for the next level. So here, I'm coming to the restaurant to say, this is restaurant Chateau A. Come here, stand back here. Uh, I need me just, somebody give me a folding chair real quick. I'm going to have some fun today. Hey, man, my picture still is playing in a little while, so I'm going, no, I'm just kidding. I, I need somebody. Come here, 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 come here. I want you to put that behind that, that table, put that behind that table. Put that behind the table. Put that behind the table. Put that behind the table. Amen. Give me another chair. Come here. Give me another chair. Give me another chair. Give me another chair. Fold the chair. Come quick. Come move. Give me another fold the chair. Amen. Put another chair. Come on. I want you to sit down. 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 Now, I want you to go ahead. Amen. And then come here. Come here, Ramon. I want you to come here. You want to eat, Ramon? You want to eat? You want to go find dining? You want to find dining? Come here, Ramon. You don't go out to eat. You don't go out to eat. You go out to eat. Now, amen. Just, just have some four more chips. Wait, put that chip back there. Put that chip back there. Now, I want you to take the. the, the, the go ahead and sit down with me. Go ahead and sit down. When you go to a restaurant, how many of y'all are very tight, clean? You're a very clean person. You're just not going to go anywhere to eat, right? I don't care how good the food is, right? Ooh, see, he going somewhere today. Go ahead, pull it off, Elder Washington. I want to show. Now, 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 now. They, that is a, a, a real nice looking table, is it not? That's a nice table. It was said, so you want to be used. The word of the Lord said, you, you have forsaken be the Lord, thy God, who is the fountain of living water, and you have made cisterns unto yourself that can't hold no water. Give me, give me water. Give me a bottle of water. Give me a bottle of water. Give me a bottle of water. Something for just some water, real quick. Amen. Hey, y'all ain't drink out of this, right? Just give me water. Just give me a bottle of water. Hey, just take the top off real quick. Just take the top off real quick. For, for, take the top off. I'm going somewhere. Now, I want you to come. Come on now, you you the waiter. Now, isn't it, doesn't he look good for the job? Yes. He looks good, right? He got a clean apron on. He look, got his pen in the paper, and he goes and he, he asks the girl and says, can I take your order? This is, can, I, can I take your order? This is, can, can I take your order? All right, now, now, just give him some water. You know, they always give you water first, turn the cup over in this pour, pour the water in the cup. Go ahead, pour the water in the cup, pour the water in the cup. Don't pour a lot, just pour it all. Have me some more um, some bottles of water. Um, so, would y'all go and eat at this restaurant right here? Now, presentation is everything, is it not? So, 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 again, I, I would go eat at this, let's call this a uh, heaven. Restaurant heaven. I, I mean, nice. The table clean. He has a nice. Come on, apron on is clean. But don't shout dishes. dishes. So you want to be used. But um, give me two more tables. Otherwise, give me two more tables and and and, and put it up here. Two more, two more chairs. I'm sorry, I said table two. And um, come here, Minister Dell. Come here, Mr. Dale. Go, go on. Go, go on. You, you, you going, you going, you going, you going to a nice restaurant today. You going, you going to eat. You going to eat. Um, come, come here, she. Come here, come here. She, she, she come here. She, she, you know, she should be cooking best biscuits for the restaurant. Come on, come on. And, and you going there. Now I need me another young person. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, you going, you, you going to be their waiter. You're going to be there, boy. And, and, 
and 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 we're gonna we gonna put the red one on you. We are gonna put the red one on you. Just put put that around your neck. Um, um, um. Now, um, he's dressed real nice, is he not? Is he not dressed when y'all when y'all want him to be your waiter? And and and, and now you're gonna uh um pour water um. But they haven't put a water yet, but um, I want y'all to notice something. Um, something don't look right with these dick. Um, um, you gonna pour some water um in that cup for just pour a little bit of water for for um um them. Um, now something now he look good. He look good. Y'all ain't talking. He look good. Um. But but something is defective. Yes. Y'all ain't talking to me here. The Lord, the Lord said you have built cisterns unto yourselves that is broken. Yes. Y'all ain't talking to me here. Um, some of you want to be used. Come on, somebody. But we already stated, amen, that, that presentation means everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like a good waiter, but the dishes on the tent is defective. Remember when I said the potter has to make a decision if he's going to make something functional yes. or non-functional. On this side, we can pour the water and it, the, the cups do what it's there, but pour, 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 pour again, pour for Ada, uh, I mean, Dale, Minister Dale, pour, pour, pour for her right there. Amen. Uh, we, we, we see that it, 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 it's, it's leaking. Yes. As your name is a neighbor, so you want to be used. I submit to some of you that you have made yourself available but God can't use you because you're broken. Some of you may be called but God got to make you over again. See, see, you may be calling, somebody may have prophesied what God wants you to be, but God cannot use you right now in your present state because you're no good for nobody Can you? because you can't hold nothing that God puts in you. See, you, you are available, but you are broken, which means you are useless. Many of you are available, but you're not presentable. Many of you are available, but you're not functional. God can't use you in your dysfunctional state. Well, it's quiet in here right now. And what God said to me, he said, tell my people, I want to use them, but they got to be delivered first. Because some of you still dwelling off of some things that broke you. And come on, somebody, last year, you still carrying past hurts and past pain. And if God would allow you to be used, even though you made yourself available, you can hold what God pours inside of you. You yourself got to be ministered to first. That's what's wrong with the church today. We got people that, yes, they made themselves available and they may have said yes to the call, but they never allowed themselves to be molded and made all over again after somebody done broke their heart. How you going to preach a word that's going to bring healing to people that are broken in their spirit when you yourself is broken? You got to be processed first. Oh, you better slap your name as a neighbor so you want to be used. This is the state of the church. God said, I got too many leaders, too many preachers, too many people that don't want to be made all over again. Because what you don't understand, in order to make this all over again, God got to break it down to the smallest element. Y'all ain't going to talk to me here. Put it in a fire again. Come on, somebody. Mold it and make it all over again so that it can become functional. Many of you, you was here, but life itself did this to you. How can God use you like this? It don't mean that you're not called. It don't mean that you love. But God said you are dysfunctional right now, and you can you're falling apart just like that just happened. How can I use you? Like, how can you minister? It's sad when we put people on the stage. To minister to other people and we know they're not what they say they are. 
because we have become people of performance and entertainment rather than true deliverance. Oh, you better throw your hands and say, Lord, make me whole again. Come on, I need about five people in here that's going to be honest that you know you've been broken. Come on, somebody, you want to be available to God, but you realize that right now I got to let God heal my heart because the thoughts that I have are not holy right now. The truth of the matter is I don't even want to be here right now. I'm mad as H-E-L-L, but you're here not to be used. You're here to be ministered to. You better slap three people in here and say, neighbor, God is going to perfect that which concerns you. See, there was something that tried to hinder the work that God was doing, but God know how to stand back a little bit and say, look here, I'm going to have to let you be broken for a little while because there's some things inside of you. I got to get out of you. There's some things I got to deliver out of you. There's some people that's been in your spirit that can't be here no more. You got soul time where people you laid down with and I got to get rid of that fire. I didn't come to preach a happy today. I come to give a word of deliverance so God can use you after he perfect you. Some of you in here, your mind is messed up. Stop chasing a calling and chase your deliverance. You need healing from something in the past. Don't dare want to prophesy to somebody get a mic in your hand till you know you're whole yet. Oh, don't look at me funny because they're from the pulpit to the back door. We all been broken. There was a time I didn't remember that I, I, I was not fit to minister and I tried to take some time off but because of the people complaining and trying to come out, we going to leave the church if he don't come back. How selfish could you be? for a little bit and work on him or her because the truth of the matter is I ain't fit for nobody because I ain't even fit for myself and that's what I'm trying to get y'all to understand in here stop chasing limelight stop chasing the star stop chasing to get a, a, a name and let God make you whole y'all ain't talking to me here let God perfect you so that you release somebody to cry because isn't it amazing that the people you asked to come to church you the one that asked them to come but you was the very one that ran them away not them you did because now you presented one thing, you look good, but then when I spent more time with you, girl, you know so and so, they ain't right, they do this and that and that. A person that talking and gossip all the time, you broke it. I shared this scripture with them, a, a man that cannot control his own spirit is worse than a city whose walls are broken down. You got to get control of your emotions. People that are emotional, people that's up in town. How can you be used? You're not good for your own self. How can you be used by God? Lord, I'm available to you. These plates and these tables, would anybody eat from this table? Would anybody eat from this table? I said, would anybody eat from this table? Would anybody drink from this table? Why? So why would you not take the time to speak words of healing when you recognize somebody is broken? Because as they said earlier, the quicker you say yes to God's healing process, the quicker God can use you. Come on, look at your neighbor, some neighbor. I said earlier, I will not speak words that will hurt you or harm you. I will not break you down because you're already broken. But I will speak words that God can use to make you whole again. I need about five people in here to give God praise.
This is the state of the church. We got too many people that's broken. And we got people coming, sit at our tables with our broken selves. And we can't hold water. That's why God told me, be careful who I pour my oil into. The first thing that God called them, that they got to be processed and got to be made whole. And we got to get in the intricate areas of their lives and things that hurt them. Because some of y'all, you got past pains in your subconscious that is sitting there lying dormant until a certain situation comes maybe 15 years down the road. And that thing resurfaced. You might have been molested. You might have been raped. Somebody might have did something and you was the victim. But because you got unforgiveness in your heart. You're broken and you can't be used. Somebody ought to give God a hand. I'm looking for somebody else. I'm looking for, I'm looking for, I'm looking for someone. Come, come here, come here, sweetheart. Only because you got fiery red here. Come here, sweetheart. Come here, sweetheart. Now we're going to go to the last table. I want you to put another eight for no. Y'all already see that. Why would you, would y'all go? Would y'all want her to be her, y'all wearing a waitress? Why? Why, come on, talk to me, y'all. Cause what? She dirty. But I mean, look at her hair. So, so, she, 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 she smells like one. Uh, um, give me two more chairs to put it behind the table. Come, 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 Angel, come, Angel, 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 you will eat at this table. <laughs> she said, I won't eat here. The first thing you notice, you, you see your waitress, she, she, she smell like mustard. <laughs> Smells like ketchup. Smells like barbecue. Um, if any of you in here was the owner of this restaurant, what would y'all do to her? No, she come to work like this. You know what y'all do? We train. I like that. But some of y'all just need to stop being spiritual. Just tell it to God on the truth. What you would tell her? Go home. You are not going to work here looking like that. So, if we would do that in the world, why we don't do it in the church? Like I told the leaders, Earlier, in corporate America, they are slow to hire, but quick to fire. But in the church, we quick to hire and slow to fire. Now they talking to me in here. There is no way on God green earth, me being the owner of a restaurant, and I want some people to patronize me. Good place to praise God. I want some people to patronize me. I want some people to come. Because if nobody comes to my restaurant and eat at my table, guess what? I'm going to go out of business. So, first of all, she came in wrong. She came in dirty, but I like to use this word. She came in stained. Um, I'm going to set this table for you. Because I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Um, um, come on, Elder Fane, take the other chair. First of all, the first thought should have been, he reaching where? For what? Y'all gonna eat real good. <laughs> they talk to me, you know? I, I'm hoping somebody catching a revelation. Would y'all eat from this table? No. Um. So why you expect someone to come eat from you 
Will you yourself esteem with yesterday's pain? Why, why would you want somebody to, to sit at your table? Lord, I'm available. You're available, but you stayed. You, you need, read, go to St. John chapter 15, verse 3 and 4. Some of you have started out like this. I think I'm going to talk to you here. If I take my hand and put it on this, and put it in here, and it stay there long enough, and pull it out, it's staying. Look at this, neighbor. Be careful where you go. It's crying here now. See, you could be clean, but because of going and hanging around the wrong people, Y'all ain't talking to me in here. Come on, because if anybody knows something about people that smoke, you could not be a smoker, but because you've been hanging in there vibing, when you leave out of there, the same smell that's on them is not on you. And if I hug you, I smell the smoke, and then I assume. Ooh, Sister Connie. Sister Connie. Ooh, how can apostle allow her to be intercessor in the church? And when I hug her, she smelled like smoke. But did you investigate further? You ain't talking to me here. But then there's a word in the Bible that tells us, "Don't let your good." Y'all ain't talking to me here. Don't let your good be what? Evenly what? Spoken of. Which means you can't go everywhere. You can't hang out with everybody. Because what's, what's they say? Affiliation brings assimilation. So God cannot use you even though you are available. You keep hanging with garbage. Y'all ain't talking to me. Y'all ain't talking to me here. You hang with people that gossip. You hang with people that sow seeds of discord. You hang with people that run down your church. You hang with people that run down your praise team. You hang with people that run down your leaders. You hang with people that run down your first lady. You hang with them and God said, I can't use you because you came out of that environment stain. Available, but not presentable. Y'all getting the message? In order for God to perfect you in this condition, read St. John 15, 3 and 4. Read. I like your word, Mike. Read. St. John's 3 and 15. 15, 3 and 4. Oh, I'm sorry. Who got it? Now ye are clean, though the word which I have spoken. Stop, stop, stop. Say that again. Now, now ye are now ye are clean. Now ye are what? Clean. Do what? Do the word. Do what? The word. Do what? The word. Do what? The word. The word. What? Which I have spoken unto you. I submit to y'all. Jesus. You got to hang out where the word is. Amen. You got to stop hanging with people that gossip so doggone. And God can't use you. And you're no good for nobody. You're no good for your church. You're no good for your ministry. You're no good for the kingdom. Because you don't look like what he intended you to be. All because you want to be liked by people that stain their self. And those that are walking in righteousness, those that are integral, oh, they ain't got enough drama going on because that's what feeds your spirit, drama. And people that ain't got no drama going on, they're boring. But I'd rather be boring, come on my way to heaven, than having a lot of drama, come on so I go on my way to heaven. That's why half of y'all watch, come on somebody. Hip-hop of Atlanta. Hip-hop of New York. 
Come on, somebody. Because if there was a show where there was no drama, no, that's why I said my wife and I, we would never be rich off a reality show because we ain't got that much drama. Ain't no dishes flying around, and no, no UFOs flying around in the kitchen. I ain't sleeping around on her. I said, so it amazes me that there are people, come on, tell you this, babe, I hold you accountable. Come on, tell me this, I'm holding you accountable. Come on, tell you this, I'm holding you accountable. There is no way you should know that somebody is doing something that they should not be doing, and you're going to put them up on a platform. Because if I let this sit long enough, What's going to happen? It's going to what? It's already stained. What's going to happen? It's going to smell. It's already smelling. What's going to happen? It's going to bring what? Come on, say. Fungus, bacteria, and mold. Uh, take this, neighbor. If you stay in that environment, where well, all the people are staying like that, spirits do transfer. I'm not here to hurt nobody. Please hear my spirit. I want you to be used by God. You have made yourself available, but you are fussing at the leaders asking, why ain't they let me do this? Why they let me do that? I sing better than that one. I preach better than that one. Why am I not being used? Because you're broken and you're stained. And you've been in this condition long enough to now fungus, bacteria, and mold satin. And if I put food on a molded plate, I let you drink water from a molded cup. You're going to be infected and diseased. And after you're diseased and sick, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Look at your neighbor. It's a neighbor. It's not that God. Don't want to use you. But he has to heal you. He has to deliver you. He has to clean you. And make you whole. Then he can use you. Somebody ought to get out of here. Sunday morning. Yes, Sunday morning. At 11 o'clock a.m. At the Bread of Life Deliverance Ministries. 222. White Street. Moss Corner, South Carolina. Break your Bible. And your praise. And get ready for a place of unrestricted praise and worship where we glorify God with everything we have. Don't you miss this life-changing experience because it will forever change your life.